Hi, this is Jen Nelson. I'm one of the senior project managers with Configuro. And today we'd like to take some time to show you our new mini grid for related lists um, for Salesforce. If you've already seen our video about our grid application, you have some familiarity about how our new grid technology works on objects. What we've done is we've taken that grid technology and moved it into the related lists on objects as well. So if you notice here on the screen, I've got a standard Salesforce page layout for accounts. The standard page layout has various related lists. And oftentimes as system admins, we have to manage the page layouts for things like users, different user groups, prioritizing certain related lists is more important than others. We may have to juggle who wants to see opportunities at the front of the related list versus cases at the front of the related list. Um, we have to walk through and determine what columns are necessary for everybody to see in the related list. We only get a maximum of 10 columns. And then for any of our related list objects, there is no edit ability on the related list. We can't do inline edits. We can't do custom sorting or custom filtering of those related lists. So by taking our Configuro grid technology and bringing it into this mini grid feature, we actually end up with a page layout that is very, very streamlined. So if you look here, my page layout doesn't have any related list footprints at the top and this is still a standard Salesforce page layout. It is not a Visual Force page. But what our mini grid app allows you to do is it allows you to have Visual Force page component that is an inline Visual Force for related lists on each object. So if you notice here, I've got my page layout it's got traditional account fields as well as custom account fields, any additional sections about the account. But then instead of having related lists, I simply have this related list visual force component that's part of our mini grid app. Whichever, whichever object you happen to be on, and this mini grid can be associated to any standard or custom object out of the box. We associate it to accounts, but we give you in our mini grid user guide found out on our website on www.configuro.com as well as on our app exchange listing for the mini grid. We give you tips and tricks on how to very easily make your own visual force component for any other standard or custom object that you have in Salesforce. Notice that the related list relationship dropdown is going to show you any re relationship lookup or master detail references against the object that you're currently on. So I'm on account. I can see links to other accounts, such as parent accounts or child accounts. I can see links to cases, to contacts, um, to things like entitlements for those of you that are using Service Cloud for opportunities. And as well, I have the ability to get to related lists for things like notes, attachments, um, tasks, events. So we'll get to see all of that today. What I'm going to start out with is picking a related list for case. Okay, and I'm going to pick the one that has the direct relationship from case to account by way of account ID. And you'll notice down here that I now have a mini grid that shows me all of the cases associated with this account. Just like with our grid application, any customizations that the users do to columns that are displayed, the order that columns are displayed in, any splits, any summary totals that we add on the related list are saved for that individual user. And so you notice here that I have far more than 10 columns and the user can pick any order that they want to see those columns today and then simply scroll left to right to be able to see the additional columns. All Salesforce standard functionality 
still applies, so users cannot edit. For example, date time opened or created by ID, those are Salesforce protected fields. And just like with our regular grid app, all Salesforce configured security, role hierarchy, um, record access is, is uh, record type support is all supported in the mini grid the same way that it's supported in the grid application. The really exciting thing about these mini grid related lists is that we also benefit from all of the functionality of the grid. So I could go in, for example, and look for all case types that have the word service in it. <clears throat> and so I could do my fuzzy search SRVC and that now is going to get me any variations of spelling that is similar to service. So you can see case types, service change, service interruption. Okay. If I want to be more specific and I want to see some variation of service but I specifically want to see interruptions, then I can do my tilde service to get my approximation match on the word service ampersand and ENT to specifically say anything that's close to service and includes the string INT for interruption and now I have my filtered list. Just as in our grid application we have the ability to do multiple column sorts we have the ability so I can come in and do a sort for example by case number and then if I want to also sort by case type I can hold down my shift key and give it a double click here and now within my case number sort actually a better example would be to do by case type and then by case number so I've got my billing dispute cases ordered by case number in reverse order then my problem ordered by case number in reverse order, then my service changes. I also have my multi-column filters, so I could come in, for example, and say, show me all billing disputes, and specifically only show me medium. Okay, Just as with our grid, if I have my filtered list, I can go through, select all cases or select cases randomly and go through and do my updates. So here I want to escalate all of these cases and I want to change the priority to, from medium to high. So I go ahead and apply my changes and once I have made all of the updates that I wish to make across the board on all of my columns I go ahead and do results, save, and now I've saved my changes for those individual cases. One of the other um, common themes that we see through the ideas and the answers community with regard to related lists is the fact that users cannot export related list records and they also cannot mass delete related risk related list records. So if for some reason you did accidentally import contacts to one account that shouldn't be there or you have a, a series of cases that associated to an account incorrectly obviously you can go through and you can change the account association on the fly for all of those cases if needed or all of those related records um, the and you go through and simply search look for all other accounts and make the appropriate change to a different account. So maybe these all need to go to 1-800-Flowers and I can go through and send them to 1-800-Flowers.com. Okay, I don't actually want to make that change right now, but, um, but you also have the ability if I decided to go in and pick, for example, multiple cases that I wanted to delete, I could go in and delete those cases. Okay. You notice they are redlined out. It gives you the opportunity to back out if you made a mistake. Once you hit save, it will automatically delete those records. Now I backed out by hitting refresh, 
but I also have the ability as I go in and set my various filters. So again, if I do um, change and then I come in and say I just want to see high. I have the ability now to select all of these cases, that these eight cases that show in my current filtered related list. Hit the export button. And now I have a CSV file of these cases that I can now work with externally and, and do what I need to do on those cases. Another thing that I really like about the related lists, and, and again, we try to be very mindful of what is out there already in the ideas and answers communities and the various Salesforce groups on LinkedIn and Facebook and Twitter, is that you have the ability now to get to those related lists that are traditionally not customizable. So if you think about a traditional notes and attachments related list, for example, it shows automatically even to system administrators that that related list is not customizable. And there are a lot of ideas out there asking for them. In our mini grid solution, you now have a customizable related list for notes and attachments. So I can go into body here, or into hide show fields rather, and I have the ability to say, you know what, I don't really need to see who last modified it. I don't need the system modified stamp, but it is important for me to see at the very beginning of this um, related list who created it and when they created it. So I'm going to go ahead and do an apply, and now I have that information available to me right here in the grid. So I can customize it any way that I want, and these column changes that I just made are relevant to each user individually. You can see that I can still get to all of my records, so if I were to click here, I now go to a native Salesforce page that allows me to view um, this particular note. I can see the note. If I go to attachments instead and do the attachments related list, same thing. I have the ability now to customize this list. I can get a count. I can do splits. I can change up columns. And right here, I click. I get to my native Salesforce page so that I can view my file. And here is my test file. Very, very exciting. Um, <clears throat> of course, you notice here on the related list, it has the majority of our standard buttons. It has a button for save, delete, clear my filters, export, refresh, and my column picker. What you will notice that is absent from this related list visual force is a new button. And, and a lot of the issue has to do with the fact that you all will have different cu custom objects and so the new button can change depending on what is needed. Plus if you consider how we handle things like record type selection, a lot of us have gotten in the habit of customizing buttons for individual users to default their specific record type um, via the new button. So what our recommendation is, is instead of trying to manage a new button here on the related list, simply utilize the custom links. You can go in same way that we've always created custom buttons for new actions or new related objects. You can actually generate that code as a custom link and it appears right above the visual force component for the related list. So if I want to do a new note real quick, I'm going to just hit, click new note. And I'm going to save it. And now as the user, when I go into my notes attachments, or my notes related list rather, I've got the record right there. That was very simple add and, and very easy to manage. As I mentioned in the user guide, the related list object will only, or the related list functionality, 
<coughs> will only be installed by default against the account object when you first install from the App Exchange. However, if you notice here, when I go into Cases and I pull up one of my recent cases that I've been working on, you will see that I've also added the related list component to Cases. And, and it's very simple. We simply went into um, Visual Force. This is something that a system admin can do. We went to Pages and we created a new page for the um, case grid. So, so we came in, we created the record, and it is a matter of just going in and using this Apex code as a sample, the Apex code that's that's already installed against account, you'll notice that the Apex code calls our managed package class. So this managed package class is part of the installation. You do have to have the mini graded app installed, but then you take this Visual Force page code, you create your new your new page and swap out the account references for case references or for any other standard or custom object so that it goes through and compiles the related list for that object. And so if you notice here on case, you've got relationships, whereas in accounts, we had relationships for things like account team and contact roles and opportunities. With cases, we have related lists for other cases, for parent-child case relationship, for case comments, which I love this one for case comments. Um, this particular account has um, entitlements installed as part of the service cloud. Entitlements are enabled, so they have a case milestone related list. Um, team members, events, and tasks as well. And so we have the ability to go in and do all of our same column settings per user and all of the other functionality that we've already discussed, including the multi-column sort, the multi-column filters, the export to Excel, mass delete, is all contained within the mini grid for cases now. Just as we've discussed with the grid, Salesforce configured security applies, so if a user doesn't have permission to delete in native Salesforce, they won't be able to delete in, in the grid as well. And so that completes our presentation of our new mini grid app. And please remember to visit us on the App Exchange and also check out our website at www.configuro.com. Thank you so much.